In this video, we're going to take a look at Optex FA's new IO-Link time-of-flight laser sensor with multi-outputs. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is going to go to ramcoi.com. So what we'll do is we will uh, go up to the search bar and type tof-dl250. And the sensor we're looking for is a tof-dl250gc, as you can see. Time of flight laser with IO Link M84 pin, two and a half meter sensing distance. Uh, you can download the IO Link catalog, you can download the instructions, and then right here you'll see that we have the IODD files. So you can just go ahead and uh, download the IODD files. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to run the time of flight laser sensor into an IO Link uh, setting software called Pactware and we're going to have it connected to an IO-Link USB master from Turk. Uh, now there are a number of tutorials uh, and things on how to get it, uh, the sensor to go into Pactware. Um, so we're going to skip that portion of it. Um, in the f and really what this is designed to do is to just do the initial setting, uh, do testing, that kind of thing, and then uh, you would uh, generally uh, run that into an IO link master that has Ethernet IP or one of the other communication uh, protocols. And, and we'll be doing that in, in future videos. But for now, we're going to uh, run in uh, Pactware just to show uh, what uh, parameter settings and observation data that this uh, sensor provides. So, okay, so, uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to connect it and then we're going to read from the device. And on this screen we have the parameter data. Um, one thing that you'll notice is that on the sensor there are two digital outputs when you use it in uh, standard switch mode where you just take the uh, the NPN or the PNP outputs out of the sensor. When you connect it to IO-Link, then what you get is not one, not two, but actually eight set points that you can go in and set. So that's kind of nice. Each one of these would be an address, uh, an addressable area that when you write your PLC code, you would be able to go in and set up uh, individual set points or uh, teach them somehow through an HMI screen or something like that. So um, this is kind of a nice, uh, a nice function within, uh, within IO-Link uh, for this particular sensor. Another nice feature you can have under process data is we can actually um, do a read here and we get the uh, distance to the object in millimeters so in this case it's 839 millimeters so we'll go back to um, parameter data and here we can you can teach it just like you would a normal the normal setting of the sensor or in this particular case we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna set first output to be between 0 and 200 millimeters and we need to put this in window mode. The next output to be between 400 and 200 millimeters and again 
window mode. The next one we're going to do 600 and 400. And again, we'll put that in window mode. And then we'll do what we'll do one more. We'll do 800 and 600 and we'll put that in window mode. So basically what we're going to see is we're going to get uh, the first output to turn on between 0 and 200 millimeters, the second output between 2 and 400, the third between 400 and 600, the fourth between 600 and 800, and of course you could keep on. You could, you could keep on going with these. Um, what we have to do is we have to write it to the device and that sets the sensor up. And then we can go in here to uh, process data. And within this uh, software, it'll allow you to enable a cyclic read. So it'll just continuously um, cycle through and, and, and look for a read from the, from the sensor. Uh, as you can see in this particular instance, um, the first uh, four outputs are off and then the rest of them were on and those were on because it was set between 3000 and uh, zero uh, millimeters. Okay so if we put it between zero and 200 you'll see that the first the first output is on and you'll see that we're at 185 millimeters and if we move this to let's see 321 millimeters you'll see that the next output is on and then if we move it to around 460 480 you'll see that the uh, third output is on and we'll see that the uh, fourth output is on at 640 millimeters. If you found this video informative please give us a like and don't forget to subscribe as we have many more videos coming your way. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at www.ramcoi.com. Thanks for watching.